Well, good morning, my neighbours. Only kidding. Wrong video, that. Okay, we'll set off up this track here. Looking on the map, it was approximately a quarter of a mile to reach the foot of Glen Sanex. So this is the route I'm taking today, starting in Sanex. I will head north into Glen Sanex and walk up the beautiful Glen to the foot of the mountain and then I'll go to the left, cross over a burn and follow a path that goes up to the chimney and the saddle and then up onto the summit. Once I've bagged the summit, I will drop down the BLAC and split the two corbets, drop back down to a beautiful waterfall and then back onto the path and retrace my steps south. Wow, look at that. What a view, and we've only just got going. Okay, I'll just carry on up here. Oh, it looks like there's two ways to do this. One way up there and one way over the bridge. I'm going past the east tent and up that way. Not taking the bridge option over the burn, I carried on straight up the track to join the burn further up and cross over some stepping stones. Don't you fall in, Mr. Gregory. Don't you fall in. Okay, this is the start of Glen Sanox and it's very, very windy, but at least it's warm. And what a view up there. That's the adjoining path, so they both join up here. Okay, there's one of them, I'll put it on the screen. Let's hope the sun comes back out. That's another way up if you want to go. With not being in any rush to get up onto the summit, I really enjoy walking through Glen Sanex. What a beautiful burn, absolutely crystal clear. No pollution around here. That's looking back uh, where we come from. Getting nearer. You can see where we're going to go up uh, pretty soon. Still got to get further up Glen Sanox and then on the left hand side you'll see, well you won't see it on the, the camera but there's the chimney and then after the chimney you should pick up a path that one leads to Glen Rosa where we will cut off and go straight up onto the summit. Okay, still a bit to go up Glen Sanox yet. Strolling along by the burn up Glen Sanox, I had a quick look at my phone to see what the weather update was and it didn't look good on the tops but that wouldn't stop me from climbing it. I came up Glen Sanox a couple of days ago trying to film this and but the weather was terrible so I thought I'd just show you what I did see especially the burns when the rain comes down, really nice. And as you can see from the weather, that is why I didn't bother to go and come back a couple of days later. There it is. So just up here, there should be a, a crossing over the burn and then up we go. Now at the top of Glen Sanix, I found the stepping stones that led me across the burn and then the climb would start. Getting up now a bit. Good look back where I've come from today. Glen Sanix. 
I think I might be looking at it coming back that way down off that belag or that ridge and then back down that waterfall there and then back this way. Okay, chimney next. So this is the chimney. I can understand why they call it that. So I've got to get up there. To take the most difficult path. And once I climbed out of the chimney, the views really started to open up and I was re-energised. Okay, I'm on the saddle now. Yes, so that's where I'm going. And that's looking down onto Glen Rosa. So now on the saddle, this becomes the steepest part of the climb to the summit. Can't be far now, can it? I'm all joking, the path's starting to zigzag now. So, probably about halfway up. Some people going down there now, probably back down to Glen Rosa. And the nearer I got, the more determined I was to get onto the top with a touch of summit fever. And even though I felt the pull of the summit, I couldn't resist going over to the steep side of the mountain to go and have a look down Glen Sanex. And was it worth the diversion, Alan? Absolutely, 100. And after taking in the fantastic views from the cliffs, it was now time to retrace my steps back onto the path. Nearly there, not far now. Probably about 10 minutes should get up there. I hope the weather's okay. There it is, at the back of there's the summit. So the, I'm just gonna go up to the path here to the left. Stepping out from the shelter of the rocks, a gust of wind reminded me how windy it was going to be on the summit. And then guess what? There it is. Quite tricky that bit. Uh, just looking back over there, that's another way you can come up. And that's Goldfell over there. Okay, let's finally go and hit this summit. And as you can hear for yourself, once I hit the summit, the winds were ferocious, I could hardly stand up. And even though the weather had changed, it didn't break my spirits, because this is one fantastic mountain on Aran.
Be so. Now peace out. And with it getting cold and the mist not clearing, now was a good time to leave the summit and carry on the rest of my walk. I wanted to show you the views but the clouds come back in. I've been hanging about and it's getting quite cool now so it's time to get down. So this was my route down and I couldn't wait to get away from the winds that were blowing so ferociously on the top. I'm having to shout a bit, so windy. So through the mist that's the way I'm going down there. The views aren't much clearer coming down here either that's for sure. Really steep cliffs then. Really steep. <laughs> wow. And as we all know in mountain conditions, the rain started to come down. I'm going to be splitting off here soon, but if you follow this path, it'll go up to another corbett and you can go right round. Quick look back where I come from. Now at the lowest point of the beer lag, I found a really good path to drop down the quarry. On the um, beer lag between the two corbets. What a day, what a change in weather. I mean, it's just been up and down. I suppose it's expected. So I'm going down there now. It's a good path, but one has to say it's very slippery. Next. Start the rain again. And with the rain now getting heavier, it was about to get a lot more slippier. And after some careful navigation, I was finally down and just above the waterfall that we saw this morning. We were up there this morning, we went all the way up there onto the summit. <laughs> okay, nearly back down into Glen Sanex now. So I hope you've enjoyed coming around with us on this walk. It's been a bit challenging for us, especially on the top. But that's mountains for you. I'm on Aaron for a week, a week and a half. So I'll probably get some more filming in and if you've enjoyed this video, come and join us on the next one. Okay, thanks very much for watching. See ya, bye.